I've been working out the uh, small knee braces that'll go up against the uh, top plate and against the tie beams. These are three by six. I've already got the holes drilled for the for the anchors, which I'll probably use a three eighths lag bolt. And then I'll fill these holes with a peg. I'll, I'll let it stand a little bit proud here. Now I could just completely peg the whole thing, but I don't really have any drawing power with just a peg, but with a lag bolt, I can actually tighten this up and hope to get a good, nice fit right here on these 45 degree angles. Now this, this is 24 inches long and I put the chamfers on there. I came in four inches on the, the long side of it, which will be the bottom side. And I came in three inches on what will be the top side. And this will sit, it'll be in there just like that. I've cut everything out here at the sawmill shed, and then I'll take take it up to uh, the job site where the bridge will actually be set up and put it all together. I wanted to have everything cut out as much as possible before I, I went up there. So the time you see what I'm doing with these, how I'm making them, it will be well along with the bridge build because uh, these will go in after the top plates are up and the tie beams, and that's when I'll put these in. There will be 24 of these when I'm finished. I still got four more to do, and I'll show you how I do that. I'm marking these at 24 inches. Make a little line across there so I can see it when I go to saw. I'm gonna cut off some of this waste here. Make it a little easier. Now I'll start sneaking up on that. I'm coming in three and a half inches from the toe of this, uh, this brace. I'm making just a tiny, tiny mark there. Now what I'm doing is laying out for the, uh, to, to be able to drill this, to get it in the right, right place. And I'm making a little mark right on the top with that. And I'm coming in half the thickness of the brace there. I'm going to make a little bit of a hole there. 
and I'm going to tilt that just my eye where I'm coming in at a 45 degree angle off the top of this which will be should be square on the bottom side if that made any sense I'll get the other end making just a little bitty mark up there get my center Now when I start to drill this for the pegs, the size of the peg, which will be an inch, and to countersink that, it'll give me something to set my point on to line up when I go to drill it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and lay out the chamfers. On, this, on the short side, I'm coming in three inches from either end. And on the top side, or the side that you'll see, well, you'll be able to see all of it, but this will be what is showing the most. I'm coming in four inches from either end, from here to here, from here to here. And I'll transfer those little marks all the way around so that I can see it when I'm running the router. Now these marks that I'm making with a pencil I always come back and sand this so I can uh, clean all that off. And as I've mentioned before, any uh, chatter that my planer leaves, I can sand all that out and clean it up. Okay, that's ready to take the router to. I'm going to take my grinder and I'm going to do a little bit of an undercut here but I've got to be careful that I don't come out to these real crisp edges so I'm going to take my pencil and just make me a kind of a something that I can visually see when I'm doing this. And when we put the bolts in, the lag bolts, that'll help these two sides to kind of crush in and get a nice fit. So I'll rig up now with my, my grinder and I'll just do a, just a little bit of an undercut. I mean, it's not gonna be much, but I just want to be able to, when I put these in, I want these two edges to, to tighten up really tight against the, the cedar post and the, and the top plate. As I mentioned a little bit ago, I made these marks here. So I'll have me a, something to kind of watch so I don't get out there on that crisp edge. And I'm just gonna take my grinder and kind of tilt it up and uh, kind of undercut this a little bit from this corner to this corner. I've got just enough there. Uh, it's less than a sixteenth of an inch. Well, right there it might be a full sixteenth, but it's it's uh, just enough so that these two edges will touch. And when the bolt goes in there, it should pull that and maybe crush just a little bit right here, so I could have a a nice clean fit. 